And good evening. Uh, this is uh, the beginning of flight day five, and uh, this is uh, the hygiene break. It's a big day for us as uh, Nicole and Danny are going to do uh, the first EVA of our mission. And, uh, and as you can see, uh, they're getting ready, uh, following protocol, and, uh, and are in the mess after uh, spending the night there in camp out. You can see me working in the background there. Me and uh, Tim Copa and I are working on uh, getting everything ready, the EMU suits ready uh, for uh, both Danny and Nicole uh, to get into. Uh, we try to offload as much of the work up front as possible because once they get out there, it's uh, six and a half long hours of hard work. And, uh, of course, we don't want these guys to uh tired, and, and we try to do as much as we can for them. This is uh, at the end of the uh, hygiene break. Uh, you can see that they're uh, coming back in, and usually what ha uh, what does happen after this is uh, is both uh, Tim Cooper and I will stay in the uh, airlock with them. We will close and seal off from the uh, International Space Station and uh, press down to approximately uh, 10.2 psi and uh, get them ready for uh, to uh, ingress in their suits and uh, and ready to get into the crew lock so they can. And, uh, go ahead and uh, do their EVA. You can see the uh, the the hatch uh, being closed there by Tim Copra. Uh, we now are sealed off from the International Space Station, and the pressure will be brought down to 10.2. You can see uh, Nicole there uh, doing some checks on her uh, DCM, making sure that uh, things are are all the parameters are responding normally. Uh, it's very important be that we know the EMU suits are behaving the way they're supposed to before uh, they go out and do their spacewalk. So you can see us uh, inside the airlock. Uh, Jose and I are, are getting Danny and Nicole ready to go out into space. And, and one of the techniques we use to make sure that the suits fit correctly is to manipulate the, the boot bladder. And that way they, uh, they can have a really good suit fit and have a good mission. And I tell you, it was a very exciting day for us, and uh, we didn't even go outside. It, was, it's a, it reminds us a lot of our training. Sometimes you have to remind yourself that you're in space because there's so many similarities, direct similarities, between the great training that we've received and uh, what we're actually doing to get these folks ready to go out into space. We uh, follow the checklist, and you can see Jose here being very meticulous about keeping track and uh, we don't want to miss anything, so we, uh, we make, uh, make sure that everything is exactly as we've been trained. And uh, so far, uh, so good. We had a really good day, and, and obviously Danny and Nicole did an awesome job, and they went outside, and, and thankfully everything worked out well with their suits and the equipment. Getting inside the EMU can be a challenge, uh, but Danny and Nicole slipped right in, and, and everything worked out great. You know, it's a little bit easier in, uh, in zero-G to get inside the suit, and uh, they acted like real pros getting ready to go out on their EVA. You can see uh, Danny's got inside the uh, hard upper torso of the spacesuit, and you can see uh, into the crew lock, it's full of equipment right now, but we'll empty all that out, and that's where... Uh, Danny and Nicole end up going into before we close the hatch behind them, and then we drop that portion of the airlock down to vacuum before they go outside. And you can see us uh, working with their, uh, their cooling garment underneath. We make sure that everything is, is fitted correctly and that they're ready to go out. You see Danny putting on his gloves, and uh, that protects his hands for the hard work that they're getting ready to do when they go out on their spacewalk. Continuing to suit up Danny, it was uh, kind of interesting for me as a first-time EDA to watch the whole process go on with Danny before uh, I was put into my suit. Um, like Tim said, the, the training is really excellent, so uh, we're familiar with everything that's going to go on, but in the back of your mind, you're thinking, wow, I'm really going out into the vacuum of space today, and it's going to be a really exciting uh, kind of culmination to all that training to really do a real EDA. 
And here, these the guys are finally getting me into my suit, and uh, all the same things that they did with Danny, they're going to do with me. Uh, like Tim mentioned also, the, the checklist is very uh, particular about the order and what we do. And for me, I have long hair, so I have a headband that keeps it out of my face, which is really, really important, because the last thing I want is to be out there for six hours and uh, have a couple of hairs floating around in my eyes or around my nose that um, can tend to get a little irritating after a while, but um, you can always uh, get past it mentally if you need to. And one of the very important pieces of equipment that we have is our ComCap. It allows us to talk to each other. To Danny and I can communicate with each other. We can talk to the guys on the space shuttle or the space station that are helping coordinate our EVA. And if necessary, we can also talk to the ground. So it gives us all kinds of ways to communicate while we're out on the spacewalk. You can see on my gloves, I have a couple pads. Um, pads there, I have pretty big knuckles. So um, uh, the guys built some special gloves for me to wear underneath the, the pressurized suit so that the fit would be a little bit better. And that's something that's really nice. We, we spend a lot of time in our training and our practice getting to know how the suit feels, and if there's something that needs to be taken care of, it gets done before we get to the point of actually going into space. And then we top it off with our helmets, which um, seal up the suit and makes for a full EVA outfit so that we can go out the door. Well, a couple of things of interest are on the top of the helmet we have uh, a couple of sets of lights that allow us to see when it's uh, really dark out there, and also a video system, a camera that um, gives uh, kind of the view of what we're seeing while we're, while we're working out there. And both uh, our friends inside that are helping us work uh, can see that video to help us out, as well as the folks on the ground. And while uh, Nicole and uh, Danny were doing a great transfer job on the outside, the rest of us was taking part in transferring on the inside, starting on emptying the MP&M. And uh, you know how that could be so fun to be kind of doing a moving job. But in weightlessness, it's really great to float away with whatever you have. They're going through the hatch. With a big box. Also had uh, several racks to transfer, and they had to be uh, unbolted first. The systems are pretty smart, though, so it's not much uh, bolting you have to do. Thank you, Ina, for helping me uh, with uh, all these racks. Actually, I would say I would try to helping him. As the ISS crew member, he is very proficient in doing these things and everything. Thank